In this video presentation, we're going to cover all the different various headers that come in the through hole calculator. Select the through hole icon in the main toolbar, and we take a look at what headers we have. For the right angle headers, we have post, receptacle, and shrouded. Receptacle is a female, post is a male, shrouded has a plastic enclosure around the pins. And, and in vertical, we only have one, but in the vertical, we have all three. If we were to select the demo button, um, we have, for instance, the body style. And so we have the, the, the non-shrouded would, would be the same as the post. So if you don't have any shroud, it's a post header. If you have a shrouded header, which has a plate, piece of plastic around the pins to protect them, and the receptacle is a female plug. And so what this does is that since we have that the, the, um, the shrouded and the non-shrouded, they're both males, so pin one would be down here. If I pick the receptacle and then click on OK, it would move pin one here because it's just the opposite pin ordering. When you plug a male into a female connector, the positive male has to plug into the negative female, so the pins have to be reversed automatically. But you have complete control over all the pin assignments. Okay, If you wanted pin 1 to be over here instead, for instance, you can just select your pin pattern. And in the pin pattern, you could select this particular pattern. And then your, your red dot shows up in your viewer. You have to click on the OK button, and then pin 1 shows up there um, in that corner. Now we have uh, the ability to change the pin numbers to alphanumeric or numeric. Alphanumeric um, just changes them to A, B, and C and however you want them. If you want uh, uh, A, this, this to be A1, A2, A, B1, B2. We also have the ability to select a round pin terminal lead or a square. Uh, and coming up in a future release here, coming up probably in 2017-05, we'll have also support for rectangular leads. Um, but we need to change the picture. We need to basically have another dimension here for the pin width and the pin length. Um, and then we need to add uh, edit this menu here. So let's go to the vertical. I'm going to go to the vertical post. And if I was going to go and create a vertical post header, let's select the demo button here just to throw in some numbers here because the numbers are pretty much standard. The pitch is normally 2.54, uh, but you can go ahead and, you know, uh, enter all the numbers manually or do this. But I'm going to, for instance, change the pin quantity to 16 pins. And that would automatically then uh, change my D dimension to 20.32. And it would also change my E dimension because I'm adding a third row. Let's add a third row. Okay, so then I'm going to change my E dimension to 8.1. And if I select OK, now I have a 24 pin header. And uh, let's go ahead and do the rename on this. Let's say that I wanted to do. Um, a, row A, B, C, this way. And so I would select my pin pattern and I'm going to go to this one here. Select OK. And now I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I select the alphanumeric pins. And then I got my row A, B, C. And I could have done that this way. I could have done row A this way and row B this way. I'm going to select the uh, CAD tool translator. So we're going to go out to the CAD tool and see what this looks like in the 3D model. And so go to the wrench on your toolbar right above the land pattern. We're going to select the, uh, let's go to Altium with it. <clears throat> now, I want to explain this uh, through hole lead extension. If I were to put zero here, all the through hole leads would stop at the top of the board. 
and this through hole lead extension is how far you want the lead to go through the board and out the back of the board. So if you wanted the lead to stop at, for instance, if you had a 062 inch thick board, which is 1.57 millimeters, you would put 1.57 millimeters here if you wanted the lead to stop at the bottom of the board. But I wanted to extend about 16 mils or a little bit further through the board so I could actually see how, in the real world how it's going to look like. So I have all my settings set up and I have my directory set up. I'm going to create and close this, open up the Altium CAD tool. And we're going to uh, DXP and run a script. And I'm going to uh, browse for that script. We just created here in the documents, CAD tools. Altium. Here's the here, here's the header that we created, and we'll let that header load into the script, and then create select double click on create a library, and here it comes. See, we have our our we have our, our rectangular leads that we can actually see on a mechanical layer. We have pin A1, A2, A3 our designator. We have this and so we, we were here really to see the 3D model so we're going to go see the 3D model of this post three row post header and doesn't that look beautiful. That would look really great on our PCB design and that's it for the headers.